Hey, what's going on my friend? This is Dan DiBiase and in this short video what I'm going to show you how to do is how to make a mouse over image for clicking uh, banners, um, buy now buttons, or really anything else that you want to do, any image that you want to change when someone hovers their mouse over, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build this banner into a mouse over image. This is going to be the original image and then we're going to make it when somebody hovers their mouse over the image, it'll just simply turn this color dark on the button okay that's all I'm gonna do it's gonna change from the light green to the dark green and I created this button in PowerPoint um, maybe I'll actually uh, give you guys a tutorial on how to do this I have do have a couple of visual design tutorials actually using showing you how to do stuff like this with PowerPoint and I'll leave them linked below but um, but you can do this with pretty much like I said any kind of image that you want now what you're gonna need is obviously you need two images okay so I have the original image and then I have the second image which is just to change color button and then you're gonna need your link that you want to direct it to when you when they click obviously I'm um, gonna have my capture page here for that reason okay so what we're gonna use is and I'll leave this in the uh, description below as well this online HTML editor.net website is a great website that you can actually uh, use your your code up in the top here and then it'll display down low so you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second okay the main thing here is this code this little piece of code that I have here okay and I will leave this obviously in the post for you as well and it's really simple but I'm gonna just break it down for you just a second okay so the first part of it is is that this href is going to be your target link okay so we're gonna put our link for our capture page there just make sure that when they click that it'll redirect to this particular link okay now to get the images right there's three places you have to put the image links okay so the first one is gonna be the original image which is where it says image source okay and that's gonna be right here where it says URL of the first image goes here so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my first image URL and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna come back over here and I'm just gonna paste that all in now that's a little bit long in my case yours might not be quite as long as that but sometimes image files do have kind of crazy uh, URLs. so so there's there's the image now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to make it so that way it says on mouse out toward the end here okay so we're going to basically bypass this on mouse over part because that's where we're going to put the second image but on mouse out means if they mouse over it and then they and then they move the mouse it'll it won't go back to the original image unless you tell it to okay so we're going to paste the original image in here as well and notice there's actually a space between the single quotes within this whole thing. It's a little bit confusing if you're looking at it for the first time, but make sure those spaces are there and you're doing this exactly the way that I am. You're just pasting right over where it says URL of first image goes here. So we're gonna go ahead and paste that. And now you can see, and actually if I go put my mouse over, you'll see that it, it, it mouses over to the broken image because there's no image here. Okay, so I'm getting the broken image, but when I mouse out now, it's coming back. You know what I mean? So that's so that's pretty cool. So it's starting to work right now, okay? And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to grab, obviously, the link for our second image, the mouse over image, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw that right here. And again, with the spaces in between the single quotes and just paste that. And now we should have a working mouse over image and there you have it my friends it's really that simple so anytime I move my mouse over this you can see and I can just take this code put it on my blog put it on my website wherever I want to put this banner and you got yourself a pretty cool looking banner with the mouse over you can even do this just for a button if you wanted to or like I said with any kind of animation that you want to do okay one last thing that you don't want to forget is you want to grab your link for your capture page okay and you want to put that in the target URL goes here. So now when you paste it, you know that you will redirect to the actual website. And if we just right click and open this, you'll see that this is going to open up my capture page on this on this page here for me. Okay, so that that pretty much is it. It's pretty simple, my friends. All you do is copy the code, paste the links in the area where you need them to be for the images, and then paste your link for where you want the click to go to. And that's it. 
So now you know how to make a mouse over image for your blogs, websites, sales pages, whatever else you're making online. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you did, please go ahead and give it a like. And if you know somebody else who you think would dig it, go ahead and share it. And don't forget to subscribe at dandybiasi.com slash subscribe if you have not already. And I'll keep you updated when I come out with cool new trainings like this. So thanks for watching. As always, appreciate you and love you. And I will catch you next time. Peace.